to the next video in the playlist where I'm going to be reviewing a variety of different mobile application development services. So today's video is all about Mobile Roller, their make your own mobile app platform, or I guess I should say website. So essentially this is a web-based editor where you can create mobile applications for Android and iOS. Now I'm going to do this video a little differently than some of the others. So I've signed in or created an account for free on their website but I stopped there. So I want to try to move through this process together to see if I can pick up on this pretty quickly to see if it's intuitive for new users. And if you wanna check out the playlist to see what other services I've reviewed, check out my channel. The playlist should be near the bottom of the page. So let, before we jump in, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the channel for new content, and we'll make this video really quick. So. This is Mobile Roller's website, mobileroller.com. It looks like they add in slash e in slash. So we're going to go to the pricing page first to make sure that this is something that could potentially be affordable for you. So scrolling down, you have a free eco pro and business plan. This is already on the cheaper side of many of the platforms that I've reviewed. So the free plan, you can read everything here, but the highlights are one native Android app. They do have their ads, single language, push notifications, etc. The $10 a month plan is still an Android app, but it doesn't look like they have mobile roller ads listed. So it looks like those ads are unlocked. So I would call this the closest thing to a white label app in my opinion. You can get ad revenue, e-commerce products, in-app purchases, etc. Then you'll see for 30 a month, you have your in-app purchases, e-commerce products uh, increases from 50 to 250, ad revenue, quite a few other options. But the highlight for this package is Android and iOS app and iOS publishment support. So that's probably one of the most affordable options I've seen for Android and iOS applications. And then the business package is one native and uh, Android and iOS app. And then you'll see that the biggest things or biggest options they've added are user roles and groups and group targeted notifications. So this one's more of a, a business oriented application. Now they do have this banner across the top. Lifetime mobile application packages are now available. I put in my information. They did contact me. I believe it was over on WhatsApp. Now don't put too much thought into these pricing. I'm not sure if this is the same for everyone, but basically I think I was quoted $500 annually for the biz package. They spelled it B-I-Z all caps or 1500 for the lifetime. And I think that was just the lifetime mobile application package. So it sounds like you pay $1,500 up front and then you don't make any other payments moving forward, which is a really, really cool and economical option if you decide this is the best platform for you. So I would recommend trying it out a little bit and making sure it's something that you're going to want long term because that's a good bit of money to invest into something and then find out later, you know what, they didn't have all the features I want. So, so far, everything seems pretty positive. So we'll minimize this. So I've logged in, I basically went to their website, clicked sign up. I didn't have to enter in a credit card, I just signed in with a Gmail account. Looks like a pretty basic dashboard here. So we're gonna click create new app. So after the loading screen, we'll type in our app name. I'll just put for the YouTubers. And then it takes us to the template page so we'll just try to choose one of the default ones. So let's pick the one that has a computer, but you can choose from a variety of layouts. So kind of nice to see it has your typical, almost like that traditional WYSIWYG. So what you see is what you get web editor. I do like the animations. Uh, it doesn't have a really cheap feel to it. So that's nice. So application completed, let's go to the control panel. So at this point, uh, the dashboard itself honestly looks pretty solid for the price. I've seen others in the lower end of the pricing spectrum, so to speak, and they just weren't really impressive, but they give you this little checklist. It makes you feel like you have made a lot of progress, even though you've really only clicked, clicked a couple buttons. So that's kind of cool to see. So let's see on the left-hand side. So we have content. So you'll see all the options here. So we have quite a few different options to add to the app. So this is already feeling like this application is essentially going to be something where you're going to add basic things like, for example, the if you have four links on your home page, you can fill them with these four options. So I don't think that there's going to be as much to customize as I would have hoped, but we'll see what that looks like in a second. 
Now, I want to look at appearance because this is a really big one for a lot of people. So to really differentiate your app, you can choose, There's a, looks like there's a Twitter toggle. Uh, so we have our font up here, font size. And then I am list item font size, different animations. So now this is really cool. I haven't seen a lot of app makers that have the ability to choose between animations. So that's really cool to see. Exit app confirmation. You have a couple basic colors over here. Splash image, list item background, default background image. So this is a pretty basic screen. It looks like when you click over here, it brings over your icons and everything. So if we click on this, I'm wondering what this will look like. So this is the HTML. Let's click on Android. And then you have app uh, iOS. So it looks like they have a mobile roller preview app. So that's really cool to see as well. But we'll click on this, and this is essentially what I guess our app looks like at this point. So um, that's kind of cool to see that they have that. We do have menu settings as well. So menu type, menu background, menu item background. So not as many settings as some of the other builders I've used, but it looks like they do give you some pretty cool options. So let's go over to manage. Now I'm going to guess there's not a lot to do here. Uh, since we don't have this information set up yet. I do want to see if it gives us login options. So <clears throat> if we enable login, there's Google sign in, enable register, chat features. So if you want to use the chat module, you need to enable this feature in your Firebase settings. So that's kind of cool. It looks like they do have the ability to connect with Firebase just based on what I'm reading here. Google API key. Uh, so we can see profile elements, member management, chat management. So this is a pretty cool platform. I mean, if they're adding chat in, that's a cool feature to have. And if they give you the ability to connect with a third-party database like Firebase, um, I've actually, I actually have a couple of Firebase tutorials for use with AppGyver, which is probably my most favorite mobile application development platform. Those are on my channel as well. We have intro message and Firebase settings. So this looks like pretty traditional setup, paste in your Firebase info, and they can kind of connect and help to do with the rest. So you have your monetization, and you can set up Google AdMob. So that's pretty cool to see there. It looks like they've made this interface pretty easy to use. So you can set up your Google Play license key to set up in-app purchases, and then go through your e-commerce options, and then it looks like they do have their publish option as well. So quite a few pretty cool options here. And obviously to publish, you're gonna to need to go through and figure out, okay, what's the best package for me? So package cost, next payment date. So pretty easy to use interface. I mean, that's it's kind of cool to see. So what we're going to do is we're gonna click back into the application and just add one or two quick options. So we'll add some content here. So let's say I want to enable chat. Um, so we actually, that's probably gonna be an advanced feature we don't wanna do right now. So let's add a form. And then we'll just put in some basic info and see if it allows us to save this. So we'll put hello. Here is the content. And then here's a form field. So we want a text field, title, we'll just put name, required. So let's see, name, required, done. So email notifications, sender email. So we're just gonna save all this by default. So we'll click save. And we have our little logo spinning right here. So let's see if it's made any changes to the application itself. So we have our form where it sends in some information. So that looks pretty standard. It looks like things are working so far. So um, I guess we'll try to go back into the app and add one more thing and basically just see how all these elements kind of come together. So. At this point, you'll see our checklist is complete. We have push notifications right here, analytics and statistics over here, which obviously are gonna be pretty blank. So we're gonna to go to content 
try to add something simple. Uh, let's try add map. And we'll just put here it is. And then we'll click save and see if it'll let us save without actually specifying anything. Please fill in. All right, so let's see. We'll just put a pin right there and then click save. And once this loads, I wanna see if the menu options appear the way that I'm kind of assuming they will, but it looks like your modules appear over here on the left and you can just click the module to go in and load it. So we'll open up the app preview. So you'll see we have hello and here it is. Uh, so we're probably going to have to change this little banner right here to make it something that is going to work a little bit better. So I'm sure we can actually go through here as well and basically just see what other settings we can change in the menu to make this a little bit, I guess I would just say a little bit better. So menu type. So we have a couple of menu options. Um, I would like to see what this one looks like, so we'll click Done. So that's, and it looks like we actually have to choose, so Menu Background, Menu Item Background, so we'll keep all of that and we'll click Save. And then let's load this and see what happens. Okay, that looks much better. So if we click Hello, and we'll see if it actually takes us to the page. And then we click back, and here it is. And it does seem like you have to click this a couple times to get this to appear, or maybe it's just double clicks. And then back. So the app's loading pretty good so far. So at this point, um, this is where our, what our dashboard looks like. We have our free trial left. Uh, it looks like 14 days. So I'm just gonna scroll through the remaining content that you could add, just so you can kind of play around with this in your own time. So we have planned modules, so it looks like push notification API, loyalty card, um, so it looks like these are basically modules they're going to add in the future, and you can, let's see, if you click follow, they'll let you know when they're updated or added, active features, and active modules, so I'll scroll through this really slowly. So they have some basic social media stuff, a notebook, an inbox, emergency phones. So, um, and then obviously you have your e-commerce platform. So my overall feeling right now is that this is actually a surprisingly solid application or mobile app builder. Uh, so this is codeless application development, although they do have a custom HTML screen. So, so far, I feel like this is a pretty solid option for the price. If you're looking for some really advanced functionality, this may not be the best fit, but if you're a small business owner or you're just looking to create a mobile application, um, it looks like this is more so based on essentially building out with third parties or building in e-commerce into the application. So when I say third parties, I mean flight and ticket hotel, YouTube Pro, Instagram, uh, YouTube, YouTube Live Broadcast. You're basically connecting with those services. So you can play around with this builder and kind of see what it looks like on your end. But overall, I'm, I'm pretty impressed so far. I think this is a pretty solid uh, app builder. I'm, I'm interested to see how it looks in the future. So if you have any questions, drop them in the comment box below. Feel free to let me know what you think, and then I will see you all in the next video.